take a look at these pictures. A growing concern along the Columbia River as homeless campers park RVs on the levee and set up temp camps right along the shore. Levy maintenance workers are having a hard time getting work done as a result of all yeah, they're this. They're constantly working out there, making sure those levees are okay. Our Lisa Balick, though, is out getting some answers. She's live along the Columbia. What's being done to try and stop this, Lisa? Well, it's really definitely a safety issue, not just for the levee system, but for those campers as well. We've repaired these a couple times already this year. These are not random rocks along the Columbia River shoreline. They're supposed to be up against the levee. We've seen what we call as sort of digs, where people will move the rock that's at the bottom edge of the levee that prevents erosion, and they move that rock out of the way so that they can camp there. Homeless campers moving the rocks to establish campsites, and the Multnomah Drainage District working with state and local agencies to repair this damage to the levee. When the rocks are moved out of the way, it creates an increased risk to the levee. So those rocks are there to prevent uh, high water from washing soil and creating ro erosion on the levee surface. We saw plenty of dilapidated RVs as well out here along Marine Drive east of I-205. Some abandoned with fresh City of Portland tow warning tags. A gaggle of RVs in this area created a big problem for levee maintenance workers. They couldn't get by them. This is a critical time of year for us to maintain the levee system. If we don't manage the maintenance of things of the vegetation, of the grasses and soils and erosion on the levee this time of year, we don't get to do it again until next year. So they're in the way. They're in the way. They were moved out and the concrete barriers moved in to protect the space needed to help keep the levee safe. But with 27 miles of levees along the Columbia River, the handful of drainage district workers is having a tough time keeping the campers out of the area to care for the levees. Now I asked why not put up no parking signs, no camping signs, and they say yes, we could do that, but the problem is the enforcement. They really don't do any good unless you could be out there every day enforcing it, and they say they just can't do that, so they'll keep patrolling as best they can to try and keep these people out of the area for safety reasons for themselves as well as the levees. Live in Northeast Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. Boy.